we have with us Naveen Tiwari, founder in Mobi uh, mobile advertising and marketing platform. Uh, Naveen, thank you for speaking to us. Absolutely. Uh, you know, straight question. You know, is uh, are startups disrupting technology and the entire uh, gamut of technology, or is uh, the changes in technology is it disrupting the startups that are coming in? You know, what what's your view on that? Your yeah, question is like an inception. Yeah. Uh, look, I think clearly what's happening out there is uh, you have a lot of these startups which, uh, so, well, so overall what's happening is the 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 technology the the technological cycle has actually shrunk. You know, many years ago in like you know, from 1950s to 1980s, the cycles used to take 30 years. Mm -hmm. Then it came down to 20 years. Mm -hmm. In early 2000, it was a 10 year cycle. Now your cycle of disruption is, you know, three to five years. Right. And therefore your question becomes very valid because even before a startup can actually become something, there is a new technology that comes in and disrupts that, that startup. So therefore, earlier startups were basically designed and built mm -hmm. to disrupt uh, uh, the the you know existing large enterprises, but today the technology ev evolution cycle is actually forcing the, the the startups to get disrupted, and that's your question. And I think that's clearly happening. And I think the only way for companies to essentially do this is what a good enterprise has done is to essentially adopt themselves and adapt to the changing environment. Right. And uh, there is no other way for for any of the startups to do so. And it it's tricky, yet they are far more amenable to actually making these changes far faster because uh, you cannot anymore stick to what you thought at the beginning of your evolution to say three years down the line that should still remain. You have to be very open. Mm -hmm. And I think therefore, you know, building a startup in this environment is, you know, need to be a lot more agile and, and it's different than what one did, had to do yeah, 10 so years that's, ago. Uh, that's the question that I want to ask you because you started out about 10 years back. Yep. Uh, and I also read that it took about eight and a half, ten years for you to first uh, make the first profit. Uh, do you think that startups in today's environment would probably have a greater challenge waiting for that long? Look, uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Look, we we became profitable about eight years after eight years after our uh, uh, you know starting. Yes. And uh, today we are probably the only large, uh, one of the only large, uh, you know, profitable uh, startup. Mm. And it's very hard to get to. A level of scale and and then you know to, you know start building a proper business where right. you are profitable, and in this new environment that you're referring to, where the evolution technology evolution is much shorter before even before a company gets to a stage of form a formative stage, mm -hmm. makes this even more trickier, mm -hmm. and therefore you will have a much higher uh, mortality rate of startups than what you had earlier. We, frankly, it was not low earlier, mm -hmm. which is going to be significantly higher. Right. And I think in this new environment, it's very, very hard for uh, you know startups to 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 go through this uh, evolution and and then get to that stage. And so, therefore, companies need to kind of bake this into their you know model mm. of you know how I need to essentially go ahead and do this. Mm. The 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 counter to that, by the way, a, sm a small counter to that evolution is, you know, writing software has become easier. Mm. Uh, and so you could be, you can, you can iterate much faster than what you did earlier. Mm. Uh, you, you can build companies to be cloud native companies, and therefore you don't have to build everything from scratch. You can leverage a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, pieces mm. uh, from, uh, you know, that are available at the cloud. So therefore, there are a few advantages to it also, which basically means if there are, some, if, the, if you see signs that were disruption to your core thesis that which you started is happening. You can pivot faster. Right. So therefore, the cost of the cost of pivot, change, etc., whatever you want to call it, mm. is also actually much much easier than what it was ten years ago. So, what is becoming more difficult? You know that no startup idea stays original for too long. You know there are already always people who will come in and 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 copy the entire uh, idea as well. Is that also a big challenge? Well, you know this the question actually can be you know uh, interpreted at m multiple levels. One mm. is. You know the core thesis may remain the same, mm. right? So look, if I, you know, I was in a certain space, I will remain in that space. Mm. My approach to going after that space would necessarily change a little bit, and that happens for every company. Mm. Uh, and therefore, I don't think that's a uh, that's that uh, that evolution anyone can even avoid. So, for example, you know, we ourselves have gone through evolution on our thinking approach and and positioning but mm. that's part of being a startup is to say look how do i adapt to the next big thing that's out there and and it's not pivoting mm. it's just adaptation to a newer dimensions or on things which are just much 
which are the right things to do mm. and therefore you go after that and that by the way is a big aspect of being able to become you know a dominant player in your own space mm. because if you're not if you're very rigid about it, it might not re really happen okay naveen thank you for speaking to us all right thank you so thank much you.